Right. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it again. Let's do. It. You, yeah. you're, a, you're a conductor. <laughs> the third one so will you... be the best. <laughs> <laughs> you're a conductor, so I'm sure you start. Uh, you you let uh, your orchestra start again. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, so please tell me again about the the Nantong University. See, si, yes. So, um, yes, uh, actually, uh, Nanto University is a really big university in Jiangsu province. Uh, Jiangsu province is really near to Shanghai. We are uh, one hour of train, actually not the fastest one, because uh, they are building a, a new line that will be take like half hour. So can you imagine we, we, we can go to Shanghai to have coffee and come back? Oh, okay. And so it's all around Shanghai. So Shanghai is in the middle and all around there are mm, actually three important cities and Nantong is one of, of these three. And Nantong University is really big and this is like how the important universities are in China. They have a lot of students. We have around 50,000 students. Wow. And uh, uh, mm -hmm. So the main campus is really, really big. I think I cannot really say how, how big, but if you want to walk from one side to the other, it will take you around one hour. So it's, wow. it's not, yeah. not small. And uh, uh, yes, and uh, we have as uh, uh, Nanton University Music Conservatory, we have our own uh, campus. And they are building a new one. So, um, yeah, the, uh, this is kind of incredible. I saw the project of the theater because in the new campus, we will have also a new theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, the theater will be like 1,200 seats for, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like a really beautiful one. Uh, half of the theater will be on the lake. Mm -hmm. So we will have this, this kind of shape of the lake. So the theater will, will cross the lake, something like that. And we will also have a small hole. The big hole will be 1,200 and the, the small hole will be like 400, 400 seats for chamber music. And when will this be finished? This, this, this... Um, they told me uh, uh, September 2022. Oh, like uh, okay. the, the the opening yeah. yeah not 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 so late if you think that they start to uh, build it like last january so yeah, yeah. It take like this is amazing less than two years yeah so, yeah with the pandemic and, in between. Mm, right yeah. yeah everything during the pandemic and this is why actually I'm here because um, Nanto University before my arriving here has no orchestra. And they decide to have uh, this project that is slightly different than the university orchestra because the university orchestra usually they include students like conservatory orchestra, they include students and teacher, right? <clears throat> we also have the major part of our musicians are professional. So uh, the, the university uh, invited, hired uh, professional musician to become like the universe, the, the orchestra of the universe. Mm -hmm. So like the orchestra that is representative and is supported by different office, not just from music uh, conservatory. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 nice because if you think about it, usually the budget of a, an orchestra, just to speak about you know this yeah. economic yeah. stuff, is supported by the music conservatory or the music department. Uh, in this case, uh, the support are also from uh, other office, and we uh, probably uh, we will grow more and become a full symphonic because right now we are not full symphonic, we are chamber orchestra, we are four or five uh, musicians. So, but the, the steps that are in the plan are, are to become full symphonic. And so it will require a lot of effort from all the 
important office. Mm. So yeah. And so these sponsors or, or the, the the financial say input, if you say it's from different uh, parts, uh, is it different parts of the university then support this? Yeah, course? yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, actually, um, it's work like every office has its own budget. So, for example, we collaborate with the foreign office and uh, the director is also like I am connected to them because here I'm a kind of foreigner e e expert and professor. So they hire me to do this kind of job. And I also teach, of course, in university, this is obvious. Um, and, but my main uh, job in the long term is to work for, for the orchestra. And so more the orchestra will grow, more office can uh, probably participate in this project. Mm. And also we wish that soon or late, we can have more institutional contacts with the Italian community, for example, or the European community. And, you know, because, um the the let's say like the target the goal yeah the final goal is to create something that can be a kind of in integration uh culture mission this is our oh, yeah. our yeah. yeah yeah our things mm -hmm. we will not just do western music we will mm -hmm. also do chinese music and our idea my 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 personal idea is to, through the music we can we can do something probably yeah. i travel to europe too it would be really nice yeah so and at the moment uh, you say that there are uh, are there students how many students are there involved in this orchestra actually uh, the student part is for example uh, i have 20 around 23 violins i think mm. um and the, the the in the violins the students are like three so the 10 percent in the violins mm. um they are all professional there mm. the violas uh, there are no students uh the cello we have i think three and the double bass we have two so okay. yeah wow. mm. And then and now, it, mm -hmm. then I'll just tell you that uh, uh, in the um, like we have three levels of of people working there. The first one is like the, the professional hired. Then is the professional invited from other orchestra. We have two other foreigners people, one mm -hmm. from Germany and one from USA, and they came from other orchestra and so they are like external player okay so it's, it's a complex situation this is my yeah, it's yeah. not just yeah but everyone that, put effort. yeah but isn't that interesting that that you can do it like that because the the um i don't know much about the the, the orchestra how the setup is but i could assume that the students then get the 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 um sort of uh knowledge or 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 uh, experience from the the professional musicians and then also right. this international uh yeah the, that that must be uh, great that that That's, is yeah. for them that opportunity there yeah you you get the point because actually our goal is of course uh at same times to be kind of institution for the university but at the same times we have educational goals and so the student that joined this experience i have to say they will be prepared to play in, a, in any orchestra because we run exactly as a normal orchestra so we have time we have manager we have people in charge of the production so and they are involved with this kind of schedule, also the mechanism. And of course, um, how to say, it's like they can take the good part of that, not the bad yeah. part we, we try to, 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 like fighting on the job, we, we, we try to avoid yeah. that. 
but yes, this is this is really important for them. And I wish in the future um, I can also like because I also have another small group. For example, mm -hmm. for the wind, I have a kind of wind ensemble of fifteen people, and they are all students. And I decide to do that because I then I won't bring them to the orchestra. So okay. the, the mission is is at the same time also to train them to create an educational circle you know so like yeah you 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 get better and then you go in the orchestra and maybe you leave and go to work in other orchestra but mm -hmm. at the same time we have kind of you change no mm. yeah i think that's a wonderful idea and uh, also for the students to to have that you know that that stepping stone to the next to the next part of the professional career that they have sort yes. of that that time and see what it is, it is like of course they do know what it's like probably yeah. from starting in other orchestras but like you say there it is it's the real thing yeah yeah it's it's the real things and and I think it, it must be because at the same time you, you cannot expect that your community, I mean, your audience grow without your musician grow. Exactly. That's, that's yeah, that's the mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's kind of a challenge because it's uh, like the first things here in this city, uh, the first official orchestra, um, the, the 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 beautiful theater i can send you the video the the beautiful theater they just opened they had the opening three days ago uh, the national orchestra from beijing they come to to perform there uh the point is nantong from zero is going to have three theater actually let's say two symphonic theater and one chamber theater so it's like you know so we i think we will have a big responsibility to perform for Nantong City and give to them a real uh, knowledge about what is orchestral music. Mm. Because never had a really strong orchestral music here. There was ne there is no Nantong Orchestra City here. Mm. So uh, this is a kind of a challenge, I mm. think. So, and you mentioned also that you you played the uh, Chinese, uh, not not just classical Western music, but also yeah. Chinese music. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you require other instruments as well, or uh, do you use? Just... You mean like uh, tra traditional Chinese instrument, or yeah. Uh, we can no 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 we we uh, the the university has also a really big and uh, quite important and good uh, let, let's call it traditional Chinese orchestra mm. where I'm I'm not working for them but as I know uh, they are they had a lot of uh, to say uh, opportunity to perform outside uh, the city and. What I want to do uh, and I, what I will do and what I did also in the past is to have a Western orchestra inviting some soloists. Yeah, I will okay. definitely do that. Yeah. yeah, There are a lot of plenty beautiful music. Uh, mm. uh, Chinese music have uh, a kind of, uh, how to say, uh, important element uh, where we can recognize some aspect, for example, of Western music of the 20th century. For example, really? uh, mm. the, the rhythmical part is really mm. strong in, in Chinese music. So actually it's really powerful when the piece become more rhythmical. Mm. And so the big problem at the same time is that the Chinese instrument are not shaped to play with an orchestra. Oh, so, mm. yeah, this is the, this is the thing. So sometimes you really need to, I don't know what to say, 
arrange it in the best way, even in the number of the, 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 the musician for orchestra. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to put some microphone too. So, because for, for example, I, I don't know if you, if you ever saw the, the Chinese violin, or who? Uh, no, or who I is, haven't, no. Mm -hmm. is, is the name. Uh, it's um, a kind of violin, let's say that, with a, it's a stick of bamboo. And then there are two strings. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bows that is actually uh, really similar to the violin uh, is inside of, uh, sorry, is in the middle of these two strings. So you can play this and you can play this. Oh, this, I see. This, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the strings are small. There is no harmonic box. Uh, yeah. So the sound is really soft, really good for solo, like without any accompany, but even with the piano. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we will handle also this, this, this kind of problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the future, in the future, we will absolutely play like solo piece and why not? Maybe we can have hybrid kind of yeah. orchestra, you know? yeah. Yeah. violins and our crew together. Why not? For sure. So, and what is this, what is the next step for this orchestra? What is the next project that you are doing? Yeah, so um, in our idea, I think, uh, actually kind of hard idea, because did you lately have listened in, in, in Europe or in your country? I mean, the, a new orchestra board, like, uh, from this day, there is a new orchestra of this city. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. in Italy, I think it's but from I was probably 15 years old, so a lot of years yeah. ago. I never heard that. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a strange thing for us because mm -hmm. we have our orchestra, historical one. In Italy, we had a lot of orchestra closing, important one really beautiful orchestra in the last 20 years close a lot of orchestra so um we have enough support to uh, have small performance right now we will have one in the end of june we had just one two two days ago and to keep working of our sound or our uh let's see that our collaboration and to create a kind of sound of the orchestra. Mm -hmm. And we can do that because we have enough support to do that. And when the theater would be ready, or oh, probably next from uh, next September, um, we will start to have more performance and probably like um, two per month. And slowly we will increase that. Mm. Um, it is a really uncommon way, right? Because usually orchestra play every week and they are really busy and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the point is, um, first of all, we don't, we don't have yet our theater. Mm. And the second, uh, I think this slowly way, when it's possible, of course, mm. give you the possibility to create a real orchestra. Of course, yeah. You know, yeah. Mm. So the musician work for you, uh, you work for the orchestra, you can plan a long-term um, development. And this is not really easy because we are really, we conductors, we are used to rehearse for two days. What you really can get in two days, maybe everything, maybe nothing. You have to yeah. absolutely, trust that your musicians are already fulfilled of your ideas. Mm. It's kind of impossible. Mm. So, so this, yeah. But this is amazing that you are involved from the start that you created this and that, you know, you yeah. can build it and grow and grow this into what it will be in this orchestra. This is absolutely wonderful. I think it's such a great opportunity to have. Yeah. And that you have that support as well from the yeah. universe. That's that's really, really important because um, let me make some example. There are a few orchestra I worked to in Italy when I lived there before 2017. Um, 
And you can recognize this orchestra, maybe they do a concert every two, three months and the name is the same. The musicians change a lot of the time. Important things here that we will never stop to work. I mean, we, we rehearsal every, every week. Yeah. Sometimes we uh, can rehearsal maybe four times, sometimes three times, it depends. But mm. the point is we, we, we don't stop. We don't stop to rehearsal. Uh, and like we are preparing ourselves. Mm. We are creating a real um, repertoire of music. So we will be ready when the theater is ready. Yeah. This is, I think, a really good thing. And I think every institution in Europe should have something like that. Of course, this is expensive, I think. Mm. So you need a giant behind you, your your yeah yeah your shoulder mm -hmm. but i i i know for example in italy i know different institution they just have rehearsal two three days so there is no regular meeting you know even yeah. if i have a concept one time every two months mm -hmm. so yeah so this, maybe yeah. we can export this kind of, of method <laughs> I don't yeah know. Wouldn't that be you? You'll be the the uh, sort of the the example, and and you can you have this you'll have this experience, and um, you know how it developed, and I think it is incredible. Yeah. Uh, I think always the 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 process, and and how it develops is almost so yeah. much more interesting than the than the final. A thing, yeah. you know, that 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 there is this that there's a story and all these things that will happen, and and I almost think it's like how dreams uh, really come true is that we start something and it it uh, there there's so many thing added things added to it that you don't even mm -hmm. think about when you start, but that that makes the whole project and that makes the whole story, so that's wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to really watch what all what you're doing because you are welcome great. to come here when 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 all this situation. Oh, this would be great! Welcome. Oh, I yeah, would yeah, absolutely yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah. But um, but uh, please, Roberto, keep me posted when something interesting happens. Absolutely, so that we have a little chat. Absolutely, again. and yeah, because yeah. then this would be great to follow this orchestra. Um, you know, and and hear what what's happening. Yeah. And how things are developing and um and now more about yeah. it yeah we are running under uh also a project between uh, our music department let's say conservatorium music and uh, one italian conservatorium music uh in siena mm. so uh actually we have right now there are some our students are in, in italy and uh, three teachers uh, just arrived in China. In fact, they are in quarantine right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, there will be a kind of more exchanges. What okay. I want to do uh, mm -hmm. in the future, and I, I, I wish to find a way to do that, I will bring my orchestra to Italy and probably to Europe. Uh, so the process for me is uh, really important because I strongly believe that here is happening something and in maybe in five ten years this something would be kind of clear for everyone and i don't want to say that would be the place to be but for sure one of the players about also cultural life because if you look to your back right now i mean your back in Italy and your back in Austria. You are in Austria, right? You are yeah. in yeah. in Vienna. India, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, so you can really feel a huge history of culture, mm -hmm. the best in the world, probably, or maybe I cannot say the best, but one of the more important in the world, right? Uh, if you look about orchestral music here, it's kind of nothing. I mean, there, there was no orchestral life, but these days, probably in the, in, in the last 10 years, in the last 10 years, there, there was a huge transformation. Mm -hmm. And this is why every important university 
uh, let's say from one level to like medium level to the high level, they have this kind of institution or like orchestra. Mm -hmm. And that's not just a group of university students that uh, meet each other. These are active orchestra that produce cultural life. Mm -hmm. So this production, this overproduction of culture will produce, uh, I wish, I hope, a new feeling in the audience, mm -hmm. a new needs. Mm -hmm. So that's the point about these 10 years, next 10 years. Yeah. But this is wonderful. But thank you so much for, for sharing all this with me. You're welcome. Thank you for calling me. It's really big yes, pleasure. Yes, I, 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 I see you on, yeah. I, well, when I saw it on Facebook, I thought, oh, wow, this is amazing what you're doing. Yeah, because the last time we talked, it was also, I mean, for us, it was then full lockdown here. Now the restaurants yeah, yeah. are open and the theaters are open. So. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And how yeah. are your situation there at the moment? Still strict? Here, everything explodes. I mean, it's like we 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 back. I I have my schedule is really full right now. Really? Uh, I have a lot of different performance and things and musical happening and competition and uh, uh, requests for you know, because I'm also a composer so. Uh, also about this field, uh, um, it's remind me 2019, same oh, okay. kind of level of work. So yeah. just pre-pandemic, yeah. You said about that uh, that some of uh, the musicians were on, in quarantine. That came from uh, the Italian, yeah, no. the Italian teacher no. that are coming from Italy. They are in in quarantine because you must do the quarantine when you arrive in China. Oh, I I, actually, I think it's around two, two weeks uh, strict quarantine, and then there are two weeks of uh, home quarantine, so a month. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, that's very strict. Yeah. Mm. But on the other sides, on the other sides, we, 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 we are like, you can go Shanghai, people like dress mask, and for prevention, you dress mask. When you go in the subway, you dress the mask. In the taxi, you can dress. Uh, mm. But in the concert, you can dress. But for example, if you go to some bar or restaurant, no one dress masks. And oh. the city you just Shanghai, if there are cases, can you imagine how fast can be like the spread? Yeah. Like yeah. 19 million. Shanghai is really big. So, yeah. yeah. We was... Uh, there was a good management here. There. Yeah. Nothing to oh, say. That's good. Yeah. Nothing to say. So, but good. I uh, have hope you have a lovely day and uh, thank you. Or a lovely evening because it's almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going back for work actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to finish some some score for the orchestra next week. Okay. And it's yeah. okay if I post this on Facebook. Of course, of course, you can. YouTube. Absolutely. I will put it on YouTube yeah. as well. Okay. Okay. Thank so I, we keep posted. Thank you yes, so much. Oh, it's so lovely please. to talk to you. Okay. It's so okay. lovely to talk okay. to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Okay, Roberto. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Thank you.